Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to be watching Titans Season 3 Episode 6, Lady Vic. I don't know who that is, but I'm excited to find out, kind of scared too. Um, the last episode was very, very informative. It really answered every question we had about how Jason got to where he got and just how culpable he is. Um, it's, you know, he's not all the way culpable, but I'm not very happy with him right now, let's put it that way. I am stressed. I love this show. I love these characters. I am very excited to see what happens next. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, and now is the perfect time to sign up to my Patreon or anybody else's, because you get charged on the first of the month and again when you sign up. So if you sign up at the beginning of the month, then that's just once, whereas if you sign up right near the end, etc. Reminder, over. Let's go. Yeah, welcome home. No! Can we trust her? Oof. Yes, please. Oh my god! <laughs> you, know you will. But first, you will. But first, you'll take a detour to vigilante hood. I'm so glad we're seeing this. <laughs> Robin Girl has a nicer name. <laughs> no, it doesn't. She is a bad influence on our boy. My god, these two! I mean, stealing jewels, you know, is. They're stealing from the rich, but. What is this? Yes, you have been shot there, my love. By Barbara. Yes, very true. Who's dreaming of their past. Did you need to be with Corey, so get over that, please. Oh, God. How did you get home? Have you sought any medical attention? I'm surprised Blackfire didn't walk in on him. Um, on her orders, I'm sure. Maybe I should go and have a word. <laughs> Corey's protective, and I love him. Yep. You're not listening. Yes. It's not. They should all be part of your plans in the future. Thank you, God. I love. Oh, he's standing up for himself. Oh. Carl has a lot on his plate, and I'm glad he's finally expressing it, and not just keeping it all in. Because Dick needs to know what a stupid decision he's been making. Dick, can you fight with a bullet wound? Dick! You're being a dick. Why? Why? Just because you're jealous. Like, that is literally his only motive. Oh great, he's recruited her as well. Is Jason okay with this? Because if he is, he's totally like not the person he once was. You are <sighs> what do you want here? Go home, Blackfire. Yes, that is the situation. Yes, you aren't Bruce. He is d no. Go with him. If he's going anyway, I suppose, go with him. That one's yours. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dick. Yes. You could have killed him. I mean, I know that that sniper did not have a clear shot on Red Hood. Whatever he told you, he should be fired from the position. It would be over, sweetheart, if you talked to her and everybody else about what your plan was. True. It's kind of true. Wasn't the best move. Okay, We've been 
invited you into our home. Oh god, what's that play gonna do? Hopefully something to try and prove how helpful she is, but I'm stressed. Oh god. I think we need to have a real sit down with Blackfire and try and figure out what's going on here. Why did she come to Earth? And is there a way we can get her back? So that's why her parents ignored her. It doesn't justify killing people. A family that doesn't share blood? Yes. Oh, bless you. 20. We don't need updates. I know she asked for one, but just get there. We've got this. Oh, well done, my love. Jason! She's gone to earn her way into the Titans. <laughs> Still cross with you. Dick Grayson! We are fostering trust with the GCPD. And you have a bullet wound. I love you, but you frustrate me. No. Not all bad. At the moment he's bad enough. You want to believe. I know I really want to believe it's not his fault, but he made a lot of terrible choices all by himself. Is that a trap? Someone somehow using Bruce's voice? I don't know that I trust. I'd love to see Bruce, give him a piece of my mind. I know how to <laughs> Here we go. They're just reckless children at this point. Again, jewellery isn't hurting anybody. I'll be taking that. Okay, now we have to hurt people, but these appear to be bad guys, and I recognise one of them, that's for sure. That was definitely her on the phone to Barbara, not Bruce. Maybe if you didn't throw knives around. I feel sorry for you, but you attack them with knives and then threw one at someone. What is this accent? I'm intrigued. Good, good, good. I love this, you don't lose your fighting edge just because you lose some ability. Like yes, you're not going to be as strong as you were before, and maybe you will be able to be bested, but you can still fight, and I love that. You killed your own husband! She didn't throw the knife, she was not killed, of course. This, both of you, is why we communicate. Tell her why you came to Earth. They have a very complicated relationship, but it doesn't excuse killing. And I don't actually, because I want him to be the quarry. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she has a, a thousand security systems in here, but oh god, what is that for? Is it because she needs anyone that can use the oracle and so they need her face or something? Oh no. Is this who you are now, Jason? That's Tim Drake's family, right? Jason, you are running out of time to change your mind and make better choices, young man. Oh, not impressed. I am loving this season. It's definitely, I think, the best one so far. It will become like perfect if we can get Rachel and Donna back um, ASAP. But I think something they're doing really well this season is giving every character screen time. And even if you know you still have certain characters that have more than others, I feel like we've had a little, we've had emotions, we've like we've touched in with 
Connor and Gar has a lot more than he's had in previous seasons and Corey and her sister and yet we're still getting plenty of stuff with Dick and Bruce's and all of that kind of story. I think they're doing a much better job at juggling the ensemble cast than sometimes they have in previous seasons. In previous seasons it's kind of been like, oh this one episode you get a lot of this one character and otherwise it's kind of been other things. Um, I loved, I love any time you get flashbacks. Um, I, my favourite kind of flashbacks are when they are interspersed with current present day stuff rather than just episodes solely devoted to flashbacks because while I like those episodes I want to know what's happening in the present day too. Um, so kind of seeing what that Barbara and Dick <laughs> went on a jewel thief crime spree. Um, Barbara's asked it obviously and then she seduced him in there. Like, um, and you know it was all very romantic and kind of just two kids who have done the right thing forever getting their revenge. Um, I'm pretty sure she does, I mean she, she does become Batgirl, not Robin Girl, um, until the Joker causes her to lose her leg, right? So I'm guessing maybe after that incident they realise they couldn't do that anymore and maybe that she wanted to use to fight for good or something. Um, I wonder if they, if that was the extent of their relationship kind of during that time and then even when she was Batgirl maybe they weren't together together because I know he was with Dawn not long after this. I mean like I said Dick Grayson dated every girl on this show. If there's a woman from his past that appears he dated her. <laughs> um, I liked seeing their flashbacks and you know it's not Barbara's fault. Yes she knocked the arrow of course but if she hadn't been throwing an arrow in the first place it wouldn't have mattered because no one would have died. Um, I feel bad because yeah losing your loved one is awful but not only did they come there to, to steal jewels they also were trying to hurt people which I don't approve of. Um, so her being back and her having this vendetta against Barbara, I don't know how she knew it was Barbara particularly, um, could she have known it was Barbara or does she have no idea that it was Barbara and it was purely, no she must know, I don't know. Um, I enjoyed seeing those flashbacks and kind of seeing the origin of Dick and Barbara's relationship and kind of maybe why it's always been a bit fraught because it's always been kind of a little bit doing things they shouldn't do and then ending badly. Um, Dick Grayson, he's my favourite character on the show, I love him dearly but I also want to shake him sometimes, <laughs> shake some sense into him. Um, I love everyone on the show, don't get me wrong. Like he needs to include others. I understand his reasoning behind why he didn't tell anyone else. It's very much the reasoning that Bruce helped bring him up to have. But there's no reason why the rest of the Titans couldn't have known about his plan, couldn't have been around when he had his plan. He really should have told Barbara. I mean, I understand the logic behind his plan and maybe it had almost worked, but when the yes, when the, the helicopter appeared, I'm pretty sure Jason had a gun to your head, Dick. So I don't know that the plan went as smoothly as you thought it was when you did it all by yourself, but he's so kind of... He's inherited from Bruce, and I think especially the way he's inherited the way of Gotham from Bruce, that drive of, I've got to do everything, there's a problem, and I'm par even partially responsible in particular, I'm going to solve it and just head down, knuckle straight through, you know, Corey was like, I'd like to tell you something, and he was like, but is it to do with the case? Um, when, instead of if you just, you know, two seconds and you'd have known that there was Black Forest in the house, you know, I think we've seen such a progression with him, but he's kind of stalling at this point at the moment where he needs to, he has a team, he has a family, and he needs to include them in the, in situations. Now, yes, obviously the rest of them were off doing one part of the search, he was doing this other part of the search, they were ordering vital things, but I still wish he would at least talk to Corey. I can understand him not necessarily burdening Gar with every detail of what's going on with him or his dangerous plans because Gar is younger, but Corey is like his equal and I think like he should include her more. I'm like, I'm very glad that neither of them gave him, you know, they were concerned and once they were like, okay cool, he's not gonna die, like he's gonna be okay, right now I can be mad at you. And I'm really glad Gar let loose some of that anger that he's been feeling because he's, for so long he's been the character that tries to hold everybody together, that puts on a smile and um, in some ways I relate to that a lot. Um, but I think it reaches a point where people just start taking advantage of the fact they expect you to be like that and I really like that he stood up for himself and he was like, cool. he just let his frustrations out. Um, I also love the way that he's already just forgiven Connor, it seems, but he didn't let Dick off the hook. He made it clear he wasn't happy with him, and then I'm glad that they talked. And he's going through a lot too, because Jason, he fought side by side with Jason. While, yeah, Dick has the responsibility and the feelings of, I was like mentoring him and I failed him, Jason was a brother in arms with Gar. You know, when he got kidnapped, Jason agreed to go with him. Jason and Gar were forming something really special in terms of like a brotherhood and a friendship, and I think. For Garth, I think he's gone evil, he's thinking, could I, could others? And you don't want to believe someone you cared about and fought beside could be evil. Now Jason, like I said, I think, yes, I do believe the drug is partially manipulating his brain, 
Um, but he did go to see Crane 100% of his own volition. He did agree to release him 100% of his own volition. Now, maybe that was a deal he was going to break. He had no intention until he got hooked on the drug and it altered his perception. But Jason, at this point, in my opinion, and I really want to know other people's opinions on this because if there's something I'm missing that would help exonerate Jason, I'm here for it because I don't want him to be someone I don't like completely. But it's gone far too far now. It's all just become about wanting his own personal power. And again, another thing that I am struggling with is the level of his hatred towards Dick. Because I just, I've said it many times before, but it's just jealousy. That's literally the only thing he has there. Because Dick was the most there for him out of everybody else in San Francisco. You think it would be Bruce he would have that hatred towards, or any of the other ones who turned on him or whatever. Dick genuinely tried, he just wasn't very good at it. Um, so I think it the only thing motivation we've seen from him is Bruce likes Dick more than me, Dick gets everything he wants and I don't, um, which is such a childish motivation. And again, I can understand with Jason's upbringing how he might feel that way, but Bruce Wayne said to him, you're my son even without the suit and he was like ah, dick ah. jason's a little baby he needs to grow up um i don't agree with killing him 100 percent. i don't ever agree with killing anybody i think yes there can be moments where it is like you kill the villain or the villain kills somebody else that's kind of where it becomes like the gray area where you have to allow it but jason at this point deserves prison because he is doing terrible things endorsing terrible things and his greatest concern seems to be that he's not as powerful as he thought he was in the arrangement because now that he's given Crane everything Crane needed from him, suddenly he's no longer quite as essential. Um, I'm very intrigued about what Crane's motivation is. Obviously he wants Gotham and he wants to have it, he wants to tear it down and rule it. I know that like that's his motivation but does he have a particular hatred towards Dick and Bruce and people like I assume Dick was Robin when he was captured so does he have kind of any lingering resentment there or is he just purely knows what he's saying he knows he needs to take down the protectors and they'll do whatever they could now what the, the thing with lady vic went up against barbara did she not have any idea about that night i guess she did um they needed her face now is that a facial id somehow um and they made a point of dick asking to use oracle and barbara saying no we can't use oracle and then um her saying oh you need my id my face id to use it so was it a case of they're gonna try and use that somehow because that's scary i'm just stressed i'm stressed i'm stressed about jason's level of hatred towards dick because if they want us to feel any shreds of sympathy towards jason in that regard any kind of like oh, yeah i don't you know if he was just being a bit like gar just kind of like telling dick like being like a normal person not becoming evil and being like you know you were you were a bit of a dick to me dick you didn't you'd like you didn't look out with me very well i would be more on his side but this level of attitude towards someone that genuinely only ever tried to help you while he was going through hell himself at one point dick was many occasions hallucinating he was that messed up in his own head he was not in the headspace to look after anybody else and while yeah jason doesn't know all of that he also could see that dick tried to be there for him anyway we talked about this a lot um I hope we've reached a point now where Dick and Barbara are going to work together and are going to share their plans. I mean, that sniper did not have a clear shot on Red Hood because he shot Dick, you know. You, you should never shoot someone if you aren't certain you have the clear shot. So I think that sniper needs to be investigated because that was very dangerous. Um, he could be dead right now and then it would be like, oh, the GCPD killed Nightwing. That would look great. Um, Barbara and Dick's relationship is an interesting one going forward. I know that they are, like, obviously as we've seen, they are a couple from the comics, um, but this show, okay, season one, they were like, ooh, have some Dick and Corey. And then I was like, oh, we're building something. And, and like in season two, she was the one that stuck by him. And I think like this season, it would be a really good one where he can be able to stick by her. And I just think they bring out the best in each other. They bring out different sides in each other. They really, I just really really like them together and I mean I like this show regardless of ships I'm not like this show doesn't have to be all about ships it isn't but I don't want a love triangle and I don't want anything between Barbara and Dick I think that ship sailed I think they're both very different people now I feel like while she can work with vigilantes I don't think she could be with one because yes yeah, she used to be one but her job kind of has to put at a point where they break the law they do things that she has to not endorse so I do hope that that's kind of just a what could have been wistfulness and they'll always have fondness and they'll always care about each other they can always love each other i'm not having problems with that but i don't want i want finally this show to give us a little bit more of dick and corey please um 
but yeah this was a really good episode Blackfire it's so funny because the story she tells I feel bad for you know the idea of growing up being the black sheep of the family everyone in your family kind of oh isn't her sister so much better putting her down a lot I feel for her that sounds horrific I would hate Corey in that scenario but again Corey was just a kid in the scenario and I know they grew up but it's the parents that are mostly to blame but they still don't deserve to die so unless she's going to give a valid reason for why her family deserves to die were they about to was were her parents in the court about to launch an attack on a neighboring system and kill everyone and then so she had to stop them you know why did she do that why did she kill Corey's boyfriend I know his name and every time I go to say it I forget it um there's no reason for that and I think Maybe she could work her way to redemption, but for her to just, she's just wholly like, but I've only ever been the victim and Corey has only ever won. And it's like, but you've literally cost her things. Also, I do want to hear from her why she came to Earth. I mean, we got the impression in the last season it was to find and get rid of Corey to make sure she could never come back and challenge for the throne. But now she seems to be like, sister, you've only ever wronged me. I've never wronged you. So I really do want to get more of an explanation for why she came to Earth what was her plan of getting back? How did she get here? You know, there's a lot of answers to questions there we don't have. And it's kind of annoying me a little bit how much Blackfire is playing the victim without explaining any of her actions that paint her otherwise. It's just like, ignore those, I'm the victim. I, I'm intrigued by her, I'm enjoying her character and it's the crazy weirdness of the idea of her being in Wayne Manor. I am excited to find out more about her, but like, it's been two episodes now and we still haven't had those answers that I really want. So I'm very excited for the next episode. Um, a reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon and thank you so much for watching.